I'm passionate about the Recovery Village because I truly believe in the mission of the organization. Uh, being in recovery myself and, and having the opportunity to help people every single day uh, take that first step is incredible. And when you live through something like what I've lived through and what so many of my, my colleagues and my peers have lived through, it defines your sense of purpose and it fuels that passion every single day to be there for those that, that need us, for the families, for the professionals looking to help their clients, their patients get where they need to go, and especially the patients themselves that are just looking for the right place, the right fit, and to let them know that we're here to help and we're gonna do everything we possibly can to make their lives better. When somebody is struggling with a co-occurring disorder and they're coming to the recovery village, uh, say they've been diagnosed with a substance use disorder, and uh, when they arrive to us, we also find out that there's underlying issues that are involved, such as anxiety and depression. Uh, we are treating the entire individual at the same place at the same time. Uh, for our patients that are struggling also with an eating disorder, we have a very unique track in that we are addressing the eating disorder and the substance use disorder simultaneously, which is unlikely like many other programs that, is out, that are out there. So I love the fact that our patients come in and that we can address everything under one roof during the same period of time and no issue is going overlooked. Co-occurring disorders are something that aren't uh, addressed uh, comprehensively in a lot of other programs and so when I think about uh, what we do and what we do really well um, our eating disorder track for our substance use patients is exceptional um, so many other programs put band-aids on the issue and and then the patient is uh, discharged and all of a sudden another issue is full-blown um, and hasn't been addressed and with us it has been and it's been addressed thoroughly and comprehensively and so we've got an entire team that are focusing on those issues and and that makes us very special. Um, sometimes patients come in, they're detoxed, and then all of a sudden we realize that there's an underlying anxiety disorder or there is depression or maybe there is an eating disorder that needs to be addressed that really hasn't been over the course of their life, maybe in other treatment experiences. So this has been a, quite a journey to be able to provide this type of care for so many people and I'm very proud of what we do. If somebody is, is questioning whether or not they should pick up the phone and call us, I say, why not? Let us talk to you about what we do. Let us share who we are, what our mission, vision, and values are, and how we've all been there. Uh, what I love about our admissions and intake team is everybody that's answering the phone has walked in, in your shoes. Uh, whether they've gone through uh, an issue themselves or that they've struggled with a loved one who has gone through it, they are coming from a place of understanding, which is very special and very comforting, very non-judgmental, and allows you to get all of the questions that you might have answered. And I encourage you to, and even if we're not the right place, for whatever reason, we are gonna help you find the right place. And we're gonna walk alongside you in this journey. When it comes to privacy, the moment that you pick up the phone and call us or click to chat on our website, everything is confidential. You uh, can trust in the fact that we abide by all of the guidelines that we're required to abide by and that uh, all of the things that you tell us are kept in the utmost confidence. So the Recovery Village uh, was the vision of our founder, Mitch Bauman, who had quite a battle and quite a struggle personally uh, with his own addiction for many years and had a vision to create something that was so much bigger than uh, what was currently out there and available, especially in, in the Central Florida community. And he followed through with it and he got people to come behind him and believe in, in his vision. I being one of them and several of my colleagues that have been involved since we were under construction. And just believing in the fact that we could create a bigger, better program, something different, something that would address everybody's needs. And, and that's what that's what we did and it's been uh, an amazing journey and it really is attributed to him and his passion for this cause and helping others as well as all of us that are involved. We all come with our own unique stories and uh, have been invigorated to give back and, and driven and, and motivated to give back because we're so grateful that we're still here and I think that that's something that is so special and uh, I'm grateful every single day for the opportunity to uh, walk alongside somebody who has a, an amazing vision when it comes to helping others.